Hi guys, it's your friend Kat here and today we're going to do a makeup look that's very extravagant and I've been searching for inspiration lately and haven't found it. There's been a lot of stuff going on so I thought I would grab a face chart from this Instagram account that does beautiful artistic face charts. If you guys don't know about this one Instagram account called Milk1422, they make these gorgeous face charts of makeup looks. It's like pure art and a lot of makeup artists recreate the face charts that this Instagram account makes. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna recreate this look from the Milk1422 Instagram account because it's so gorgeous. The color selection is so beautiful. It's like turquoise, teal, some greens in it with a lot of like chocolatey browns. So that's what we're gonna try to attempt today. Let's see if we could do it. And I've been obsessed with the Marc Jacobs coconut primer and mixed with the Becca backlight filter. These are both really expensive primers, but the problem with primers for me is a lot of them I'm allergic to and sometimes I don't think makeup primer is really necessary. You could just get away with some really good face moisturizer, but I haven't found one like this Becca backlight filter that makes my skin look so healthy and have a internal radiance and glow. So that's why I use it. And a lot of the other primers, especially like the Makeup Forever ones, they make me break out like none other. I don't know what ingredient is in them that makes me break out, but that's why I use this one. So let me correct my eyes. You guys probably know the drill. First of all, I like to use eyeshadow primer in the creases of my eyes as well, just to hopefully fill in some of those fine lines so they won't hopefully crease in later. And I am going to do some corrector. I use the orange tone corrector. If you guys watch my videos, I mean, you probably know I always practically use this. This is the LA Girl Pro Corrector because it helps hide the blueness under my dark circles. And then this is a green that corrects all the redness that I have because I have some stress acne and I need to blend it out. So how you guys doing? How was your summer? Oh my gosh, 4th of July for me was crazy! We had these plans with our family but they had to pull out last minute because they're moving. And so we were left, we were just gonna have a movie night because if you guys didn't know, I live with my boyfriend, Corey, and he is a army vet. He was in the Coast Guard. And so he gets very scared of fireworks like some vets do because to them it sounds like artillery and like things actually shooting off. So we were just gonna have a chill night indoors, but we were so lucky enough, our neighbors that recently moved in, they invited us over and they're such nice, genuinely cool people. I'm so lucky, it's like one of the best neighbors I've had. And we had a barbecue at their place, it was so much fun. But lately, ever since, I feel like 4th of July passed, everything has been getting really crazy. This foundation I know is a little light for me, but I'm gonna warm it up because we're gonna put so much chocolates on and this is gonna make my skin look really pale, like a shade lighter than it is because it really reflects the boldness of the makeup look I'm doing today. The makeup look I'm doing, the skin is a little bit more fair than mine is, which is crazy to me because I used to have really, really fair skin. And the foundations I'm using, I'm mixing the Makeup Forever Ultra HD with the L'Oreal Pro Glow because sometimes this comes out a little too matte for me. But yeah, ever since 4th of July, I feel like things have been getting crazy. There's been so many like accidents happening around my house because I live in like one of the most populated, most tourist beaches in California. I look like the Crypt Keeper. I look like I'm the person they hold in the dungeon that doesn't see the light of day with this foundation color. But I like being pale. I don't know about you guys, but I love it. I kind of wish I was pale again, my winter color, or even lighter. I don't know, I think pale skin is beautiful. I used to be really self-conscious about my pale skin when I was younger, and one time I had like a fan come up to me and say something really crazy about my pale skin. But now that I'm older, like I kind of like it. But all skin tones are honestly beautiful, just for me personally, I like being pale. I remember I was so self-conscious growing up with pale skin that I would fake tan just my legs with like the Sally Hansen spray, but now I just don't care. And one time, oh I have a horror story about that. 
but this is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer that I love lately. And it dries really fast, so let me work, try to work quickly. But I was at the, it was one of the beauty conventions, and I was at a booth with Tarte, and I, of course, wanted my legs to look bomb because it was summertime, and I used that Sally Hansen leg stuff, and I must have used too much, and I didn't realize how hot it was, and they had like all white faux leather seats at the booth, and when I got up, my leg imprint from the Sally Hansen stuff was on there, and I was with like one of the team members from Tarte, and oh, she's so sweet, and I felt so self-conscious, and I was like casually trying to wipe it off with like paper towels, and of course I got it off as much as I could, but I felt terrible. Just, you know, things that happen to me in the summer. Summer is my least favorite season, because I don't like the heat. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm more of a fall and winter girl myself, only because, of course, the Halloween. My birthday month is in October. I'm lucky. Yeah, let's get a bigger beauty blender for the face, huh? I love this beauty blender by Eagle Tools, but as you can see, there's like cuts and stuff in it, and I haven't even used it that much. This is the one I use the least because I just love the texture of it, but it falls apart, which sucks. Now I'm just giving my RCMA no color powder just to set our under eyes in areas where I usually crease up, because I don't want that to happen. Oh, the laugh lines. I crease so much in my laugh lines and my under eyes. It's ridiculous. We really want to lay this layer of powder down because on every surface, when we do our powder contour with the warm chocolates, we don't want it to skip on us. We want to have a smooth, blendable surface to blend those powders on. I'm dipping into my Lunatic Cosmetics Labs Brown Contour. This is one of the best contour palettes I own. And I usually don't use, that looks kind of reddish. Let me go more cool tone. It even goes up here on the picture near the eyebrow. But since it's such a dramatic look, I really want to go true to what it would look. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's always so interesting to see contour on a big face like mine. Like I have a round face like a moon. So seeing contour, it's I feel like it's so much more dramatic and crazy. It could get crazy real fast, real easily. And we just want to like have it fade out the closer it gets to our mouth from our sides of our face and over our cheek. This sounds a little crazy, but I want to do more extreme light colors here. Since I already used powder on my face, I don't want to dip back into creams because it's going to be a chunky mess. So I'm just going to get my white matte highlight powder from this palette and go like this. The forehead and here and right under the eye. Right here. It kind of looks like those flashback filters. So I'm going to blend it out more. Next, the palette I'm probably going to be using in this so, so happens to be the Alice in Wonderland Looking Glass collaboration with Urban Decay. Yes, right? Urban Decay? Urban Decay doesn't need on the cover of this, but I'm pretty sure this is an Urban Decay one. Anyways, I'm going to use the chocolate chessboard color from this palette because this palette has a lot of eyeshadows and everything that we're going to use throughout this whole entire look and just blend that in right there where the hollowness, the deep hollowness of your cheek is and on the tip of our nose. And I need to get the darkest like shimmer color, which is Chronosphere, very edge of my cheekbone. It kind of literally looks like I'm doing makeup with household kitchen items like pudding. Now for the hard part, we are going to have to get blending brushes to blend the brown that goes really far in on the nose, the bridge of our nose, and on our brow bones. Chessboard again, and I'm going to blend, I should get a mirror, right on the bridge of my nose. Let's get a flat top brush first with chessboard. And real, because this is going to be a really contoured nose. It's going to be intense contour. Just to put the line down and then blend it. Because there's a strong line in there, but then it fades. And chessboard right here as well on the tip of the nose. And I'm getting also chronosphere very darkly right at that tip. 
Now that I look crazy, <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna progressively look crazier till the very end. Chronosphere again with the same brush. Put that right here. I'm doing my eyeshadow before my brows because the brows are very bold and I don't want it to be messed up by the blendings of the eyeshadow. Getting chessboard with the blending brush and just blending that into my brow bone. Now I'm getting chessboard with this type of brush and blending it even more. I just wet some of chessboard with some spring water facial spray because it's clean. I don't want to use tap water. This is kind of like a cut crease to the extreme because we're going to have all the rest of it color. Now we're going to do the same process on the other eye since that one was so difficult. Honestly, it was. Laying that down and then getting that little tiny brush again. It's just same process. I feel like Willy Wonka in his chocolate factory and I just took every single flavor of chocolate and put it on my face. We got white chocolate, milk, and dark. So now that I look like a fox or some weird woodland creature about to come to life on my face, I'm getting the color Heads Will Roll from Alice in the Looking Glass. Because that perfect like teal Miss Ariel's fin from Little Mermaid color. And I'm going to lay that right below all of that cut crease we just did on the rest of my eyelid. This color is so gorgeous. I feel like a lot of people didn't like this palette. Some of the colors, I have to admit, aren't the most pigmented, like the lighter ones, but I mean, look at this one. Excuse me. And blend it down to my bottom lash line. Oh my gosh, you guys, for some reason, maybe it's because it's summer, but I've been craving ice cream almost every single day of my life. Don't you just hate that? They advertise ice cream. I feel like it's everywhere. I feel like it's addicting sugary drug during the summer. And I just heard about, I think it's Chick-fil-A has that frozen lemonade and they put ice cream inside lemonade and blend it together like a milkshake. That's dangerous. And then I got so excited about Chick-fil-A day. They were giving out free food, but it's like foods I can't eat, like the fried chicken sandwiches. And you have to dress up as a cow. I should have just like done a whole makeup as a cow and gone and got my free food. But that have been a lot of work for free food. We're getting places, people. This must look ridiculous to people who are not into like dramatic makeup. But I don't care. I look good. I feel like one of those girls on Mars is like, my boyfriend was cheating on me with my cousin. Give it with my finger just to make it more pigmented on the center of my eyelids. And now it's time for the like more green. There's a mix of this teal color with green, so. I'm getting a pencil brush with the color Hatter and I'm putting the Hatter kind of like a halo effect on the outer parts of it. It almost is the same color but more of a green, Kelly green than actual teal and a little bit on the lower lash line. And I'm just getting some matte black eyeshadow with a angle brush and putting that right here and doing the same thing on the other eye. Also, you guys, let me know what type of movies, well, what type, what movies you want to see this summer. I really want to see this new Spider-Man movie, and I really want to do a Spider-Man makeup, like the whole th shebang, like the mask face painted on me. Now, I'm also getting that black eyeshadow, and I'm buffing it right halfway on my lash line. I'm just getting the color Royal Flush from this palette, and I'm putting a little bit over the half inner part of that greenish color just to make it look more translucent and like liquid than actual powdery eyeshadow but girl now for them brows i've been waiting to do these eyebrows it's gonna be difficult but they do like a solid line like this and then they have this tail go out like that i feel like it's gonna make me look either really cool or really confused <laughs> I'm getting that chocolatey brown eyeshadow again, chessboard, with the angled brush, and I'm going to create my eyebrows, just the base of it, before I do the line work. They're gonna look like brown slugs as eyebrows. Now I'm just getting my Anastasia y'all dip brow with a very thin brush, and I'm gonna do hair like motions, just like how they have in the picture. I just get the dip brow like on my hand or my leg or something. Mostly your hand if you're doing professional or a palette would be best. Because if you do it in the cap or just keep leaving your dip brow open it will dry up like a hot Saharan desert on what a lot of cities feel like in the summer. These brow hairs right here, it's like an extreme ombre brow, the style of brow. So this is difficult because I don't do ombre brows. 
like the Instagram girls do. Oh, and I forgot this woman has the thing right here. And what else happens with this makeup look is there's a white right here. This waterline, this skin that you shouldn't put makeup on, but we do anyways. I say we shouldn't because it just feels so unnatural and weird putting makeup here. And there's also some inner black liner. I love this milk site where I'm doing this makeup look inspiration from because a lot of the artists, you see such talented people come out from getting inspired from that Instagram account and how people interpret different looks is so interesting. Now it's time to get ready for those lashes. Oh my gosh, these lashes, I don't know if it'll look exactly because the lashes and the look that I'm inspired by look like spiders, which kind of creeps me out. I think these are called Wispy My Name from Violet Voss, is it? These lashes, this is what I'm gonna use today. And they're very separated and big. These are the ones I had that looked most like it. Yes. Lashes are still difficult for me and I know they're still difficult for a lot of professional great beauty makeup artists. So you don't always need them either. This is not blended and it's bugging me. It's not blended that way. Yeah, she's looking good. She's getting there, going places. Now there's bottom lashes and I got this huge thing of false lashes for that for full face forever 21 makeup video that I filmed and I didn't like how these look but for this look they might be perfect for bottom lashes. I'm just gluing it on my bottom lash line and then I'll like for the rest I'll just draw them in probably. These bottom lashes are so long because they're not meant to be bottom lashes. They feel so freaking weird like little baby spiders are trying to tickle my under eyes. That does not sound appealing at all, does it? I hate spiders, but that's what I would imagine it to feel like. Just do lines just to hopefully continue to that false lash. See, what a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and do lipstick and I'm using two different lip colors before I do the white dots on my eyes. I'm gonna use Violet Voss's Flirt and Ofra's Coven lipstick. That's a collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. First, I'm gonna use the Violet Voss one because it's darker. Because it's like a matte chocolate and it's a perfect base for this look. And then I'm going to get Ofra's Coven and put that in the middle. Oh, and I need to get more of that black liquid eyeliner and do, see how these are separated? I don't want it separated. My eyes are watering, so I'm getting some white cream makeup with a very thin brush and then doing like marks right here and little dots of highlight, especially on the inner corner. I'm gonna put some on my lips too since it's on her lip. Oh, and on the picture, she had like some stringy hair, so I'm gonna get some water spritzed in my hand and just get some stringy hairs and put this in a different area over the hair strings. Also, before I forget, let me put in my contact lenses. I almost forgot that step, oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? So I'm gonna put some blue contact lenses, the same contact lenses if you saw my Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead men tell no tales, makeup of Bootstrap Bill, I used these lenses, so I'm gonna do that now. I really wanted to be, you know, true to the artists who came up with it. And again, that Instagram account is milk1422. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup video, even if you don't like really extravagant, over the top artsy makeup videos. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff everywhere. This makeup look came out so like 1920s-esque with the headband and like the little curling of the hair and the weird eyebrows. I don't know why the stylized eyebrows with the headband, the darkness of it and the contour with the little mole. This look is also giving me Shigo from Kim Possible vibes if she was fancy at prom. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and letting me chat to you all like really good best friends because you guys are my friends. And I just want to thank you so much for everything because if you didn't know on Instagram, I recently got verified, which is just a blue check to some people. But to me, it meant so much that I am, I mean something to some people. 
and people are following me for a reason and I just want to thank you guys and I hope that I can inspire you guys to follow your dreams and passions because I would not be anywhere if it wasn't for you guys so Thanks again for watching. You can subscribe for more videos like this. Leave me a comment down below on what other beauty makeup videos you want to see and what you'd like for me to talk about in future videos because doing these type of videos, again, is so much fun. And I feel like you guys get to know me more and I get to know you more in the comments. And I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.